Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stadium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. position this person is really thinking about the disharmony between the both of you here we have the page of cups and the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck and the four of wands so someone is thinking that they need to apologize to you this person has feelings for you as well they feel a strong connection with you it's sort of that connection where this person really can't explain why they feel this way with you. But there is some conflict between the both of you. This love is coming out in neutral position. For some of you, it's very possible this person has some sort of year of commitment. That's, that's the reason why things have not moved forward in this connection. So it's very possible this person has feelings for you, but they they don't want to be in a commitment because it scares them. Some sort of misalignment is there between the both of you. Some sort of not your both of your values not matching with each other is there in this connection here. And that's the reason why this is something stable is not happening between the both of you. Like they want a connection they do have feelings for you they want to feel good with you they want to celebrate with you they want to have fun with you but they are not ready for a long-term sort of commitment especially marriage or long-term relationship that's what this person is not ready for and for some of you if it's very possible this person feels like if they do have a relationship with you, that would what you that's what you would expect from them. Like that's the next step you would expect from them. And that expectation would be too much for this person because they don't know if they can do that. For some of it's very possible this person is someone who does not believe in an institution of marriage as well. That's not what they're looking for in life, you know? And you could be completely opposite to that. So again, there's some like misalignment is here between the both of you, but there's feelings here. So there's that. There is passion here between the both of you. There is a deep connection. There's feelings. But it's like you both want different things. So that's the reason why this might... Uh, it's strange because it's like they have feelings you might have feelings for this person as well because i have not seen your energy yet so you have feelings this person has feelings but at the same time nothing this person just wants to be in that but some of you could be dealing with someone who is younger than you or there's less less maturity there's a maturity difference or age difference between the both of you that's the reason why this person might not think highly of marriage or they don't want to deal with marriage they want to have uh, they want to be with someone they want to enjoy life they want to experience things with that person but not really into marriage right now or long-term commitment right okay could be dealing with a gemini
eight of wands someone is thinking of communication here yeah word in reverse they feel an unfinished business with this person yeah see ten of pentacles in reverse and here's the funny thing here um while i was pre-shuffling the deck to start this reading um the ten of pentacles fell on the floor here it was an upright but it fell on the reverse and i kept it back in reverse here so that's again the thing ten of pentacles in reverse someone might not be looking for marriage yeah this person could be younger than you or they feel like it's too soon marriage commitment it's too soon they don't want to have that conversation they are not ready for that conversation i don't think i'll ever be ready for that conversation this person could be someone who gets cold feet whenever they think about like marriage commitment or you know this is also what i'm getting for some of you this person the idea the of staying with one person forever and ever that's that that's what scares this person for some of you here so some of you with the world in reverse is very possible this person uh, has seen a lot of instability in their life especially in their childhood or relationships around them they have not really seen marriages go well they have seen people fall out of love they have seen people cheat or they have seen people not really respect the institution of marriage in a way and that that's the reason why this person might be so a uh, feeling so like they have this so strong negative emotions when it comes to commitment or marriage but they feel like this is not really over they feel a sort of unfinished business with this person here they feel like things are not really they they miss you they really do miss you they feel uh they miss the good times between the both of you. They sort of feel this incompletion here with the world in reverse. But at the same time, this person is holding back from you because simply they feel that what you want, they're not ready to give you that or what you want, it scares them. It really, really scares them. But they want to talk. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, they want to talk. They have love for you. They, for some of you, this person has a big crush on you as well. It's very possible if this person has a big crush on you, it's like they feel like this might not, you know, like it's just going to be a crush. It's not going to be something more than that. This could be a fairly new person you're dealing with. Like someone you have just started to date or someone new you f uh, uh, you feel a strong connection with for some of you with the eight of wands it's also very possible there is communication between the both of you. you both talk to each other you both flirt with each other but then it's just nothing more than that and for some of you this person is actually hiding their true emotions they just flirt with you and they're actually hiding the true emotions because they're afraid or scared that if they actually tell you their true emotions you might start expecting some things from them. You might start expecting that, oh, so they have feelings for me, so now they want to have a relationship with me. And this person doesn't want you to give high hopes. They don't want you to expect something from them. So yeah, for some of you, this is a fairly new person. For some of you, it's also very possible with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person is actually... They do want to date you, but they actually have come out of a marriage as well here. So for some of you, this is someone who has come out of a marriage. They're divorced. They're separated. So that's the reason why this person just, they don't want to, <laughs> I heard they don't want to open that can of worms. Yeah, this person is holding back from confessing their feelings to you because they feel like you're going to expect a lot more from them more than what they can give you and then it's just going to ruin things between the both of you here so it's very possible you both talk to each other it's also very possible you both talk to each other you flirt with each other and this person gives you hints but then they just they don't act on those hints or they sort of deny it like that sort of an energy i'm getting here This is literally really, really someone who's trying the level best.
to hold back their emotions from you, to not admit that they have a thing for you, they feel for you, they have a crush on you, they want to they want to see you, they want to be they want to have that equal sort of exchange between the both of you. Exchange of emotions that is. They're literally just holding back from saying you that. Yeah, for some of you this is a new person here. Or this could be fairly new, you know, it doesn't have to be completely new, it's fairly new. Things have not become that serious, or things did not become serious because this person didn't let it. And now you feel very confused about this person, like they show, they give you hints, they show that they really like you, they flirt with you, but then they don't do anything more than that. Take it out, it resonates, could be a fairly uh, new person, could be a, a very new person here, could be a past person as well. That if this is a past person, this is someone who is definitely just, yeah, they feel like they can't give you what you want. They have feelings for you, they want something with you, they want to have happy, happy things with you. They want to spend a good time, quality time, enjoy life with you, but not marriage. not a relationship that that's something it's, it's almost like this person feels like they are not equipped emotionally or physically to be uh, to have a commitment to have a marriage they're not emotionally physically equipped to do that hmm. yeah nine of wands are gonna be flirtatious kind of an energy this person has a lot of passion for you and they want to go on an adventure with you. For some of you, it's very possible this is an impulsive person you are dealing with. That's the reason why this person fears commitment because they know themselves. They know they are impulsive. They know that they are looking for adventure. The moment things get serious, they just run to the hills. They are very aware of it. They are aware of how they are. That's the reason why they, want to, don't, they don't want to promise you anything. the signs you could be dealing with fixed signs Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius come on yeah this person is aware that's what I was saying judgment and mind of wants they are aware They're aware of their own shortcomings is what I got. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you have met this person through work. But look at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. This person doesn't have a long-term vision with you. This person is also someone who gets distracted very, very easily because Seven of Pentacles is you have to put in a lot of hard work and effort and then you can build that Ten of Pentacles. From that Seven of Pentacles, you go towards the Ten of Pentacles. But this person is really someone who... Um, they, they get distracted easily also three and seven of pentacles four of pentacles in the mix yeah holding back hiding hiding the true emotions hiding behind work for some of this person could be someone who gives excuse of work you know, like they have this responsibility and that responsibility. Someone who's making up excuses. For some of you, that's what this person could have done here. You know, if this is a past person, this person almost made up excuses as to why they cannot be with you, why they cannot talk to you right now, why they cannot give you the commitment. Instead of actually telling, uh, talking to you about what they fear or they're not ready for it, because this person was so into you, they actually sort of could have strung you along in a way.
three of swords in reverse. So it's very possible there was no third party really, but you sort of like because this person was a flighty, hot and cold, uh, they were like giving you hints but not following it through or something like that. You sort of could have imagined that there's this person is interested in someone else or this person is uh, like stringing me along or they have other people involved as well and that might not be the case this might not be the case that this person was already interested in someone new or they were going with going out with someone new they were dating someone new but at the same time this person was not ready to tell you the truth This person is like they know they have to make a choice here but at the same time this person feels like they don't want to make the choice this is contradictory energy two of swords in reverse is someone who knows they have to make the choice here they are willing to make the choice but the eight of swords is like no i don't know devil in reverse and what i'm getting with the devil in reverse is this person this, this is how this person looks at commitment marriage or relationships they're going to be bound to one person i don't want to be bound to one person it's, it's restricting my freedom will be gone my free will will be gone that sort of a thing with this person away from something serious here they just run away from it also what i'm getting here is for some of you this person thinks that they are going to disappoint you eventually or eventually you are going to get disappointed by them if they should show their true colors to you, if they show you, if they're vulnerable with you, if they actually behave the way they are, you're going to run away from them because, I don't know, like just because, because you're not, feel, you're not going to feel attracted to them. You're not going to be into them. If you see that the real them, it will turn you off. Hmm, that's something. For some of you, this person might be someone who does have deeper emotions, but they just like, they pretend to be like someone very casual. They pretend to like someone who is having fun simply because they feel like they're just going to end up giving to the wrong person or they're just going to, you know, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out or the other person will run away. Some of you, this person has some deep pessimism here with the Five of Cups. And for others of you, this is also what I'm getting. There could be something forbidden in this connection, especially if you are working, like if you are, you belong to the same workplace, right? So it's very possible you cannot get involved. This person knows they cannot get involved with you. So there's something forbidden about this connection as well. It's a reason why this person feels like they should hold back their emotions. They shouldn't indulge in those emotions. And for some of you, the reason if it's a past person, this person truly strongly believes that they are going to disappoint you eventually. You are going to get disappointed by them. You are going to fall out of love from them because that's what happens. People fall out of love. 
there's no way people stick to each other forever and ever i don't know like that's a strong thing with this person especially with the ten of pentacles coming out in reverse i'm seeing that card again so there's a, this strong belief within this person that uh, relationships are not meant to happen it's just a lie relationships are a lie commitment is a lie marriage is a lie there's no way people are into uh, like there's no way people really love each other after say 10 years five years you know for some of you this person thinks that marriage is a form of convenience people get married to each uh, people get married to someone else because it's convenient this person is uh, yeah is deep fear this deep fear within this person this deep fear for commitment this deep fear for being abandoned after loving someone two of pentacles yeah Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? This person is not sure what they're going to do or what they want here even. How they are going to proceed here, they don't know. Because they are already pessimistic. Two and three of pentacles, ace of pentacles in the mix. Ace of pentacles is a cornerstone to that ten of pentacles. And whenever they think of that ten of pentacles, this person feels pessimistic about it. For some of you, this person, you know, this is what I'm getting. For some of you, this person has seen their parents getting divorced, you know, sort of a thing. So that's the reason why they have this deep fear when it comes to marriage, commitment, relationship, moving things forward. This person has seen something. They have seen something in commitment, marriage, and relationship that has really shaken their faith or belief when it comes to marriage. It has. And that's what is this that that's the element in this person that sabotages they sabotage connections this is how they do it oh that's why they do it not just, oh. sees you as someone who is not sure about them as well you hesitate when it comes to them we're not completely sure about them either oh well that's a that's a shift of energy this is this is very possible that's mirroring here this person they know that you're not sneaky or you're not up to something or you're not doing something but at the same time this person sees you as someone who's not serious about them either or you're not serious whether you should give them a chance or they are a good decision they're a good choice. For some of you, this person sees you as someone like you think that they are a bad choice or they are not a good choice. This person sees you as someone who's holding back from them. You're not taking a risk or you're not willing to take a risk with them. So whatever this person sees in themselves, they see that in you as well. So it's very possible this person is projecting and this is just mirroring energy, but that, that's the energy here. But this person sees you as someone who's not like you are not going to take the risk with them you are indecisive when it comes to them you don't completely trust them yeah four of swords you're keeping quiet you're keeping to yourself for some of you, you are, you know, it's, it's very possible you are not someone who, you're not easily readable is what I'm getting here with the four of swords. You're not easily readable. And that's what frightens or scares this person.
Eight of Pentacles. Keep, yeah, you keep to yourself. You you work hard. You have high standards. You don't want to give to someone who is to whom you cannot trust. If you don't trust someone, you are not going to give to this person. You're not even even going to give that person much of your attention. Nine of Cups. You are waiting for your prince or princess charming. That's how this person sees you. That's who you're waiting for. And this person, uh, they, they might think or feel that they can't be that for you. It's too much for them. want what you want that's the kind of thing with the empress here and for some of you you do want new beginning with this person but here's the thing with the empress you want that family kind of dynamic here that's the kind of relationship or commitment you're looking for you're just not looking for fun and games or let's see where it goes that's not the kind of thing you're not going to take a take risk in a in a connection or in a place where the other person is not as serious as you are. That's not who you are. That's not what you want. Nine of Wands. Yeah. You might have been wounded in the past. And that's the reason why you are so defensive. Wow, look at that. Emperor and Empress. Yeah, you're looking for this. And for some of you, you do, do see the potential with this person here. You do see them as the as your potential match. You know this person is your potential match for some of you. Emperor, Empress and Lovers. You do think that this person, both of you can have that, do that. And you feel strongly that this person is. Both of you can build that Ten of Pentacles kind of dynamic together. Yeah, have victory, success. Be that power couple. You can have it all with this person. That's how you see this person for some of you. You feel like you can have it all with this person. This is the kind of person you have been looking for. Always wanted to. But yeah, this person. Um, but this person is very scared and they're just giving you. For some of you, this person is giving you mixed signals. They gave you mixed signals or they're giving you mixed signals. You know what can happen with this person, but at the same time, because this person is giving you mixed signals, you don't completely trust this person. And that's why you're just focusing on your money and success and your public recognition and everything. You still are, have curiosity when it comes to this person. Taurus, Libra, Aries, Aquarius, Virgo, Three of Wands, <coughs> and the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, and the Four of Swords. This person is not gonna. Uh, yeah, they're not going to do anything here. If this is a past person, it doesn't matter. Past person, new person, fairly new. This person is not going to say anything, not going to confess, not going to do anything here. They're focusing on other opportunities. And by other opportunities, they don't mean other options, potential romantic options. They're focusing on their money, success, that's all. They're trying to uh, use, not use, they're trying to focus on success, money, as, as a form of like distracting to take their mind off of this connection to take their mind off of you so you're not going to do anything this person is not going to do anything either at least right now
yeah you need to keep focusing on your finances and money and success and everything like that you need to keep focusing on that and also the empress and the emperor can signify the stability within yourself the stabilizing that masculine and feminine energy we all have within ourselves yeah you need to focus on that here because this person is trying to find for some of you with the hermit this person will be trying to find answers as well here like why do i judgment why do i feel this way why uh, why why can't i just do something about this connection neither can i move on from sagittarius like what the heck where do where do i go what do i do Reading this for you. Yeah, hiding. Someone is isolating themselves away from this connection. You may not be on the same page right now. Yeah, you're not. Someone is yearning and desiring you. This person does long um, about you. They crave you. They long for you. They desire you. Also, for some of you, um, if you're the kind of person who's getting a lot of attention, you know, uh, because of your work, because of whatever you do, you're getting a lot of attention and success. This person does get jealous when others, especially if you do, like you are in the same environment, you work in the same office and everything. When others give you attention, uh, this person does get jealous. Jealousy. Mm, coffee date. This person does want to date you. I heard wine and wine. Witchcraft. Hmm. Yeah, negativity. This person's negativity is um their negative thoughts or their pessimism is the reason this person is just sabotaging this connection okay yeah there's incompatibility here definitely clashing differences again the same thing of you're not on the same page with this person here emotions yeah and see unpredictable mm. in and out yeah in and out hot and cold when this person feels uh, um, strong strongly they approach you or they, when they miss you they really approach you but the next moment this person just withdraws their energy so yeah mixed signals in and out something like that so look at that ghost this person could be behaving coldly with you on purpose here because they don't want to express their true emotions they don't want to show you how they truly feel so they are acting cold on purpose all right well that's your reading sagittarius i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in the next reading until then take care guys bye bye